here and outside were found in hideouts where members of the Mythic Dawn would meet. And Hello, my Daedric Cupcakes, and welcome back to Skyrim. So we are, um, we've traveled a little bit since the last episode. Uh, we did the whole Clavicus Vile thing last time, and this time we are at Shimmer Mist Cave, just outside of White Run. Now, if what I have read is correct, there should be some farmer here, and we're gonna head in to find out if we can find one. Okay, let's head on into this cave. I really just need one f spider. One spider. He's not quite ow. Not quite what I want, but he's dead, so. <laughs> Hi, Lydia. Uh, we lost our friend Lucian last time. Actually, I don't know if I can bring him back yet. Oh, it looks like I can. I'm here talking to man. There we go. Okay, still looking for- we need just one Falmer. Oh god, that was terrible. Actually, it looks like we've got a bandit here. Another bandit. These guys have been murdered off. I'm hoping by Falmer. Let's switch to healing here. Ow. Yep, that's a- that's a Falmer encampment. We are good to go. Hooray! Uh, knock knock, I guess? Where are the Falmer? Hello? Ah, there you are. Yeah, I'm just gonna steal your life force while we're doing this. And we are done. That's all we needed. Okay, let's put this away. Uh, let's go ahead and harvest the blood here. And we've got all of the blood that we needed. Ooh, bone meal. Um, we could finish this cave up if we wanted to. Ah, uh, Lucian, I've missed you. But we are not actually going to do that. I kind of want to do um, all of the, like all of the additional stuff kind of at once. I love this. I don't even know what's going on in here. It's just very shiny. I guess that's why this is called Shimmer Mist. Anyway, we're gonna go see Mr. Septimus whatever face up in the north by Winterhold. So, Winterhold? Winter... Have you heard the tale? Oh my god, Lucian. Uh, I don't know, I'll meet you at the outpost. Well, we made it, and we have to give the blood to our friend down here. Don't hurt yourself, ow. When the top Here's your bell, blood. I can almost hear them. I feel their life energy. Come, I will make the mixture. Okay. I grow restless, as does my blade. Where are you going? Oh, okay. Did you just stab himself with that? Wait, wait, come back. Okay, I guess we're following this guy. What is this? Uh, okay, well, let's search the ash pile. We got the essence extractor and the rune lexicon. I'm gonna take the rune lexicon. I feel like that would be cool. All right, we've got the Agma Inferium. So let's go ahead and read this. Um, I can't read that. We're gonna take it. So we took it. It's a cube. Wah! God damn it, don't scare me like that. Come, my champion. Freaked me out, you stupid thing. Uh, what now? Now, you have my Agma Infinium. It contains the knowledge of the ages as revealed to Sarsis. My loyal servant. Xerxes, huh? That name sounds familiar. For hundreds of years, it's been shut away from the world. Septimus was a useful tool for unleashing it. Now, it is in your hands. Let us work wonders together. Ew, 
Okay. Um. Right. So, that is done. Um, let's go ahead and take a quick look at that book again, shall we? So, we've got this inferium thing. Um, the sea of knowledge rolls before you. Choose the section you wish to read. Now, you get to read, I think, one of these. And basically, you get a boost to your skills in these particular paths. I'm going to choose Path of Shadow. You don't have to read it, but you don't get a boost. And honestly, if you don't read it because you're just like, I'm not going to be such and such as, you know, champion, um, you've already done it, so might as well. Just sip of my tea as we get level increases. Yeah. I went for that for the speech mostly, but everything in this really works out well. Okay. So, and I think we've leveled up a few times actually. And yeah, it's been removed because you only get to read it once. Um, we're going to run across him again. I, I don't want to say him, but we're going to run across his madness again. Okay. Let's see what we've got here. Let's actually open up the journal. Uh, quests here. All right, so next thing I'm going to take care of here, I wanted to make sure that I had some other quests, um, is we're gonna be going to the museum in Dawnstar since we already have this quest. There are a couple I don't think we have. Actually, we have the Pyrite Shrine as well, so maybe we should go do that. But first we're going to Dawnstar, so I'll just meet you there. Let's get out of here. All right, welcome to Dawnstar. We are very close to where we need to go, but there is a museum over here. We were here briefly and they were like, somebody was like yelling at this guy. And here comes my first visitor. The Museum of the Mythic Dawn is open, friend. Okay, uh, Museum of the Mythic Dawn? Yes, my collection of artifacts from a group that toppled an empire. Why don't you come in? You can browse the displays and we can talk. I have a job you look perfect for. Uh, sure. Let's talk inside. Okay, so real quick here, the Mythic Dawn was a major part of the Oblivion game. So if you haven't Feel played Oblivion, Come to um, when you're ready to you may not fully know who this per who these guys are. The tapestries hung here and outside were found in hideouts where members of the Mythic Dawn would meet and plot. The cult's greatest accomplishment was the assassination of the Septim Dynasty and the opening of the Oblivion Gates. Anything else? Do I need to move closer to them? Uh, here's some of their garb. That burned paper is all that remains of the fabled Mysterium Xarxes, the blasphemous book written by Merun's Dagon himself. It's said that Mankar Cameron used the book to open a portal to a paradise where all his followers would live forever. Okay, so that was the thing you actually get to do in Oblivion. The commentaries on the Mysterium Xarxes were written by the Mythic Dawn cult leader, Mankar Cameron. He promised a paradise awaited his followers when they died, that they would be reborn by Merun's Dagon's scythe. Yeah, about that. Uh, and then lastly... In life, you, you, I was but... You, I didn't ask you. Um, we have a uh, something. All right, let's talk to him. Did you have any questions about the museum, or would you rather talk business? So, what is this mythic cult? Mythic Dawn cult? They were worshippers of Merun's Dagon, the Daedric Lord of Destruction and So, why are you opening the museum? The mythic Dawn killed Uriel Septim the Seventh and his heirs, triggering the events that led to the Oblivion Crisis when the Daedra invaded Tamriel. All that remains of the infamous cult. I've gathered in my museum. I guess history shouldn't be forgotten. Um, why did you open this museum? It's no secret that my family were once members of the Mythic Dawn. One of my forefathers was even chosen to assassinate Uriel Septim himself. We hid from our past for years, became tradesmen, people of coin and influence. But I realized that the Mythic Dawn's importance, our importance, to history cannot be denied. I'll see everyone in Tamriel remember that for a moment, we held the fate of the world in our hands, for good or ill. Okay, uh, let's talk about this job. A little history first. After the Oblivion Crisis, a number of groups cropped up dedicated to wiping out the remnants of the Mythic Dawn. 
One of these groups found Merun's razor, the artifact of Dagon. They split it into three fragments and pledged to keep them apart forever. That was almost 150 years ago, and the pieces are still being kept by the descendants of that group, and they're right here, in Skyrim. Oh boy, so you want me to get these fragments? At least two of the owners, Gonzal and Draskua, are dangerous marauders, and the third owner, Jorgen, I only know he lives in Morthal. Here are my notes about them. I'll gladly pay you for getting the pieces any way you can. No questions asked. All right, so we're going to be finding some fragments to put together Mayrune's, Mayrune's? <laughs> Mayrune's Dagon, um, his razor, which, yeah, that's probably great. That's fantastic. It's exactly what we need to do here. So we've got three pieces, the hilt, the blade, and the pommel. He's got the um, sheath, I think that's what this is, this little thing right there. Yeah, let's get out of here. And I think we're going to start with, let's take a quick look at the world map. Um, there's the one in Morthal. That one actually might be the closest to go to. Where are the other ones? Looks like there's one all the way over here in Dead Crone Rock. And the one down here is at Cracked Tusk Keep. So let's head to Morthal because we can just go straight there. And I will meet you at wherever this marker is. Okay, well, we're here. Ooh, the sky is lighting up, and the person that I need to talk to has actually gone to bed for the night. So let's, let's just take a quick look around. I, it's kind of hard to tell. Oh, the, no, never mind. It was really pretty, actually. What was that, Lydia? All right, let's wait until morning. Ugh. Oh, he's apparently up. Um... This is the gentleman that we need to talk to. Hey. The mill is my responsibility. And that's what I care about. That's all. Understand? You seem upset about something. The world's going mad, and our Jarl does what? She hides inside with her visions. We need a leader, not some mystic. You don't trust the Jarl? How can I? She never speaks with us. She has allowed this wizard, Falgen, to live in our midst practicing. Gods know what. And now there's talk of rebellion and dragons. What help could it grant the against them? No. We can only rely on ourselves. You do well to remember that. Alright, so I'm looking for pieces of Merun's razor. Don't know what you're talking about, Strange. Alright, um, really? Celis Vasius says otherwise. I've heard of him. My father had suspicions about his connection to the mythic dawn. I guess they were true. I don't need this. My family wasted eight generations keeping that razor safe from a dead colt. As far as I care, I can stay locked in my house. Aw, oh, come on. So you won't miss it then? I don't care, but my ancestors do. You can't have it. Um. Here, I'll pay for it. The vines know the mill could use some new blades. All right. It's yours. Here's the keys. It's locked in the chest inside my house. Cool. I'm going to go ahead and uh, loot the rest of your house as well. So don't mind me. I don't think there's much in here, though. And honestly, I probably could have just broken in here and, you know, kind of stolen everything anyway. Yeah, I'm taking all of that. Okay, let's uh, grab the hilt and the gold and the lockpick and the sapphire because all of that is now mine. What is this? Book, not one that I need. Cool. You guys ready to go? Let's go. Okay, so the next one that I think we're going to go to is going to be over here at Den Dead Crane Cro Dead Crone Rock. We're gonna head over to Markarth and uh, hoof it. It's at the side of the map, like I'm trying to tap further to the right and nope, it's just on the edge. So that is where we're going next. So I'll just meet you at Markarth. Well, I'll go to Markarth and then I will meet you somewhere on the, on the way there. I'm getting a bad feeling about this. Um, we are, we have reached 
the Hag Rock, um, I'm gonna call them readouts, but I know that's not right. And we are getting pretty close, I think, to our general area that we need to be. Yep, this is where we are going. Is that a phone? No, that's the Force War and the Looter, I see. Um, I've pretty much lost my party members, so we're just gonna head <laughs> to the ruin, because apparently that's where we need to go. I did not realize that we were gonna have to go through like multiple locations to get to where we're going. Um, looks like we're gonna be murdering a bunch of Force War today, which honestly, they deserve. Okay. I don't particularly like the Forest Warren. I understand what the point of the Forest Warren are. It is or are, I don't even know. And um, that's fine, but uh, they're really quite annoying if you ask me. Basically, they believe that uh, Skyrim belongs to them because they are the native ones, but really they're not the native ones. Okay, we're not gonna be staying in the um, Hag's Rock. We're just gonna keep going. Hello, Lydia. Uh, how are you doing? I think we're going the right direction. Did we just get turned around? We just got turned around. That's what happened. Okay, well, it looks like I'm an idiot. Um, let's not do that again. <laughs> we're going to be continuing our way up here. And it looks like we are going to be continuing our way through. I thought we just went in one door and out the other door. Nope. Hi, guys. Greetings. De dead, apparently. Um, ooh, nightshade, bone meal. I don't really need any more bone meal, honestly. Well, this garnet, fear poison recipe. Anybody in here that we know? Well, I can always unlock the door and find out. Or not. What even? This isn't that hard of a door. Ah, door. Looks like we've got some bandits. Uh, gold. Why didn't they take the gold off of them? We're gonna take that potion. What about in here? Anybody in here that we know? Nope. All right. Well, it looks like they have a prison. You know, if the Force Warner's starting to keep prisoners, then we have a variety of other issues. Knock, knock, I've come. Oh, Briarheart. You could actually steal the hearts out of them before and, and like they immediately die, which is actually kind of a cool mechanic. No, just die. <laughs> uh, or alternatively, we could just murder them. Jeez, we're not we're not playing for keeps today. Anything else in here? No, there's a potion there. Slaughterfish egg. Um, let's grab whatever's in the chest. Okay, not worth it. Not worth it. Money worth it. Um, circlets are probably worth it. At this point, one of the biggest problems is uh, we just don't have enough space in our inventory to handle everything. I sure hope I'm heading the right direction. It's gonna get really awkward if we're like not doing so. But it looks like, oh, hello. Were you yelling for help? Because I could have sworn you were yelling for help. Like we've got more enemies. Gosh darn it, I hate the Force Warren. Ow! You don't just get to walk around shooting people! My best? I just. Whatever, you're good. Goodbye. Uh, you got some gold on you. We're being shot at, aren't we? But from whom? Oh, up above? Is that where Lucine went? Looks like there's some people down below too. I'm not really interested in going down below though. Hello. We're here to take out the trash. You are the goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs> I actually wasn't expecting him to fall like that. Uh, let's see you need to oh, hello. Oh, Briarheart, huh? We got multiple people here. Woo! We've got feist! We've got feist! Woo! Let's level up here. Um, let's go ahead and choose uh, Magicka. Uh, then let's choose Health. 
And let's land down here. Okay, good. Lydia's with us. I don't know if Lucian's with us or not. Bye, looter. And here's the Briarheart. Briarhearts are always a problem. Ow! Why am I on fire? Did you just take Lydia out? Ooh! -hoo! That's not good. Um, let's do some healing here. Do we have major healing here? Vigorous healing? Um, let's go ahead and replenish our uh, blade there. I'm gonna sneeze. <laughs> <coughs> Whew, sorry guys. Um, and let's uh, um, why I don't know what was going on there. No, I was pushing Z and it like wasn't doing anything. Oh, okay, sure. Let's just drop down here apparently. Because what the heck? Oh, Lucian, Lucian! Is that a hag raven? What is that? Is that a troll? Oh my god, we have problems. I can't hit anybody. This is what I'm getting out of this. Bye! Okay, we solved some of our problems. Just go all out while these guys are down. What even was that? Okay, finally. Jeez. I understand why I was getting a little overwhelmed, though, because this guy, I think, has Elven War Axe of Lightning. Why was I on fire, then? Who was setting me on fire? I'm not comfortable with that. And here's the troll. Oh my gosh. It's not helped that the game is just like, oh, you wanted to shout? Are you sure about that? Yes, game. What the hell? Um, well, this looks attractive. I... It looks like they were decimating people, but there's a chest in here. Gold, plentiful magicka, and I need more healing potions. I think we'll be okay. I don't know. What level are we? We have reached level 32 with that. I don't know how this is gonna go, honestly. <laughs> but we have made it to the dead crone rock the second location to get whatever hilt blade wait what are we looking for here this is for the i don't know the blade or the pommel i'm not sure which but we're going to be going in and kicking butt and taking name and hopefully we'll be okay lucian settle down at least we're all here and we all survived i'll see you next time as we start to go through this I don't know what I'm doing either, Lydia. <laughs>